welcome to another... The official podcast of The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. Do you hear that, Ern? The Leaky Cauldron. Just go. You're wasting time. Welcome to Pottercast, your number one source for news, theories, discussion and interviews with people from the Potter books and films. I know a small amount myself having written the books. My name is J.K. Rowling. I am now happy to introduce your hosts, Melissa, John and Brack. Hey everybody, it's trailer night. I love trailer night. I'm here, it's John Noe here. It's a little mini Pottercast, a little solo Pottercast. If you can even call it that, if it's just me, huh? This is just a John Noe cast, but it won't be for long because we're here, I'm here, on Skype. I made a tweet and said, who wants to talk about the trailer? And so many of you did. So let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm going to give one of you a call right now. Hey, who's this? It's Rosie. Rosie, Leaky TV. Remember that? What's going on? Uh, nothing much. Just drinking we're, a smoothie. Awesome. Well, uh, we're here talking about the brand new Deathly Hollows trailer. What were your first impressions? Oh, okay. I've only seen it once. I'm trying to not let myself see it again, so I can kind of just be struck by it. Um, I really, really liked it, actually. The whole um, Harry and Voldemort against the crumbling castle was a bit weird, but otherwise, liked it a lot. Let's just see if we can fly. <laughs> right, exactly. I felt that, like that kind of came out of nowhere, but yeah. I'm sure that make it very nice and cinematic. And I mean, it's a hard. I think it's a hard scene to do because it's so much in Harry's head, you know. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that's definitely going to be one of the moments that will be talked about quite a lot. We talked about that a few weeks ago when a few people saw. The, um, the preview screening, uh, how yeah. how crazy that was, but yeah. uh, what did, did did any other clips stand out to you? I mean, I noticed uh, I, what I think was Fred on the floor. Oh yeah, of, yeah, pretty sad. Um, I don't know. I think it was all just cut together really, really well, and I think the music had a lot to do with that, and the also like the very white lights against the, the dark sky. Yeah. Well. So yeah, no, it, it was a beautiful trailer. I think. Definitely. Cool. Well, thanks, Rosie. We're going to go ahead and call some more people here. Okay. Have fun. Thanks for chatting. See you later. Bye. It's Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. It's Pottercast. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, we're doing pretty good. It's actually just little old me tonight. But, oh, uh, cool. I thought I'd have a little a little solo show talking about the new trailer. I'm presuming that you've seen it. Yes, I have. I think it's awesome, and I cannot wait to see it. Heck yeah! Well, what did did any bits of it uh, stand out to you as, as being particularly awesome? I love the dragon. It looks so oh, amazing. Yeah. But I am worried about the whole Voldemort Harry fight. Yeah. That was in the book, but hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty crazy. I mean, we had a lot to talk about it the last time we did a podcast about if it was a little bit too much, but I don't know. Those visuals were just really cool. I'm yeah, just... all the special effects look awesome. Are you are you a little nervous for Harry to see how the hell he's going to like survive a fall from the, the North Tower, though? Yeah, it looks a little high. Because we know Voldemort can fly, so like he's not bothered by this. Yeah, but... maybe he'll apparate to like the Great Hall or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe that would I mean that would be pretty cool if Harry could. Maybe, yeah, maybe apparition is allowed now at Hogwarts now that uh, all the things are down, <coughs> all of the the protections. That would make sense. Yeah, because cool. everyone's been, all the death years will be. Hello. Hi, is this Anna? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Basically my reaction. How many times have you seen it so far? Uh, well, three times, like, watching it all the way through, and then, like, twice, frame by frame. Frame by frame? Is there anything cool that you've noticed going frame by frame? Uh, yeah, when they showed that big shot of, um, like, of all of 
uh, Hogwarts standing there with the big dome around it, there was something falling out of the sky. I wasn't sure if that was just like CG debris Ooh. or if it was like a, you know, like something important. But I don't know. That I was just wondering cool. if I watched it. That would be cool. A lot, a lot of people are wondering what was up at the very beginning with that flower. Now, I know what it is, but do you know what it is? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually in the book. That's when Lily first shows her sign of magic, right? There it is. Yes, of course. Lily and Petunia. Very cool little moment. Awesome. Well, did, you, did you have any other favorite parts? Well, when I first saw it, I saw like Lord Voldemort and Harry, and I was like, what are they, are they like skydiving? I don't really yeah. know. <laughs> but yeah. They were cliff diving or something. Yeah. I don't what? know if Harry's got a parachute or what, or if that's like a parachute <laughs> parachute spell, maybe they can shoot. Accio parachute, you know, pretty much. That's my idea. That would be that would be pretty awesome. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's there? I'm este Valeria. Hi there. You can call me Val. Hi Val. This is John from Podcast. What's up? <laughs> um, I este... am. I don't know. I thought you wanted to ask me something. I did. I called to ask you what you thought of the Harry Potter trailer that came out tonight. Um, well, I just saw it. It was, um, epic. Yes. Epic. That's a good word. What was your favorite part? Oh, huh? What? What was your, fa your favorite part of the trailer? Um, when it, um, it shows Harry telling Voldemort, um... They have to end this the way this, they started. So you 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 like that part when they fell off the the thing together? Yeah, I want to see what happens. Yeah, what if they just both just fell on the ground and died? I don't think so. And that'd be the end. <laughs> no, I don't think that will happen. That'd be a major change. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably not. What, what, what did you think of Snape in the trailer? Oh, the part where where it it shows him. But, um, the part on the book where he flies. Yeah. It shows that part. That was pretty I wanna cool. See, I want to see that one. What would that turn like? Yeah. What about that part, that bit at the end where like a bunch of people were firing those little blue spells at yeah, the castle? What was that? What do you what think that spell was? I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's, it's like, hard to tell. It's like a light, very bright light blue or white, kind of some small little spell. There's a lot of visuals in here that were confusing. Yeah. That was one of there's them. A lot of, there's a lot of parts that I don't remember in the books. Yeah. They're all pretty cool looking, but it'll be interesting to see what it is that they're, t they're really all about. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for calling me. Of course. Bye. Hello. Hi there. It's Pottercast. How are you doing? Hey. What's going Sorry. on? <laughs> voice right now that's okay well what'd you what'd you think of the uh the trailer oh my gosh there's so much in it um i don't know there's so much i mean seeing that little snippet of mrs weasley and bellatrix was really cool Ooh, yeah that was super cool that i don't know how i feel about um harry and voldemort jumping off the side of hogwarts though that is a popular thing that people are talking about right now everybody has an yeah. opinion on that I've it's so <laughs> weird I've like, talked, what do you think? I've talked to a few people that thought that was pretty neat. It's definitely super dramatic. I have just no idea what Harry's goal was with that. Like, we know yeah, Voldemort like, flies, but I don't know if Harry knows how to fly. It so. was so random. Like, how is he supposed... Like, I don't get how he, what his means by that is. It was really weird. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Now, I, I want to know what the, um, the big mass of people shooting those little bright white little uh, spells yeah, at Yeah, that Hogwarts was really was. weird, too. I didn't get that. Or even crazier, what were the people that were running, and then all of a sudden they were just dissolving into, like, electricity or something? Did you yeah. see that? Maybe they were, like, breaking the barrier to Hogwarts or something, but it already, like, oh, dissolved. Oh, wow. That would be crazy. That'd be weird. I don't know. That would be super weird. Ah, uh, well, did anything else jump out at you that you wanted to mention to everybody here? Um, I thought the, um... You saw the little snippet of the prince's tail with Lily playing with the flower. Yeah. I thought that was cool because that's like my favorite chapter and I always wanted to kind of see something from that. Yeah, totally. Which was really cool. A lot of cool Snape moments in here too. Yeah. I want to know if the scene with Nagini um, like kind of jumping off, like she was like, like shooting forward. I want to know if that was like before Neville killed her or if she was like about to kill Snape there. Ooh. Or like what it was. Yeah, for sure. That was for kind sure. of cool. Nagini looked amazing. Oh, yeah. 
Definitely. Oh, cool. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Yeah, thanks for calling. This was really cool. I kind of, I stayed up for this. I was hoping. Oh, well, I'm glad you did. It was good talking to you. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so All much. Right. I'll see you later. Hello. Is your name Rita? Yes. Hi, this is Pottercast. Hi, Pottercast. How are you? We want to talk about the Deathly Hollows trailer. I'm currently having a heart attack, but it's taking a long time to process. It's a very... I don't know. Slow moving heart attack. Oh, that, that's a hell of a heart attack. Is there any scenes that are jumping out at you as most heart attack oh, inducing? My gosh. Uh, probably. I mean, I feel like I was pretty numb during the first viewing, which is the only time I watched it. But when Tonks reaches out her hand, uh, oh, uh, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't take it because, like, I don't know. Was that? Was that their death scene? Probably one of their last moments, I would think. Oh my right? God. Uh, I can't. How about, how about the part where uh, Ron is hovering over the dead body of uh, his brother Fred? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, how amazing is... did Rupert look in that? Like He really like... did. They all, I, I, this, I don't know how I'm going to be able to watch this. The, the trailer was this emotionally intense. Yeah. Oh, and then, I don't know, like, Harry and Voldemort jumping off the, what? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> that is the, the scene of the night, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Everyone is wondering, oh. If you were uh, if you were Harry, knowing the magic you knew in your seventh year, how would you survive a fall off the North Tower? Is this an actual question? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, where were they falling? To, like, in, what were they falling into? I forget. They were just falling just, like high off the top like, of Hogwarts. into rubble. I guess. Like, Does he, is it because he knows that Voldemort can fly? That he'll well, just hold on and hopefully Voldemort, you know, I mean, he knows straightens Voldemort, them out. Voldemort can turn into like this black smoke thing, but I don't think Harry can hold on to that. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I guess we will just have to see. That's strange. Is there any, anything else that you thought was particularly crazy? What did you think of uh, all the bits we saw of Snape just kind of sulking around and going to God? There was, there was and all definitely this. a lot of Snape. I, I honestly, I, I, want, I want to watch it again, but I'm going to wait. But I feel like I kind of just, like, it was, it, was like a, it was like watching a car crash. I was just, it was too much. I couldn't absorb all of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen it twice. I've watched it all the way through, and then I watched it a little bit, like, frame at a time. And there's quite a lot of stuff. Oh, no, I don't think I can watch it frame at a time. Yeah, there's quite a lot to see. But I am glad that you enjoyed your one and only viewing so far. I truly did. It's like a true blockbuster trailer. I feel like the trailers have changed so much over the years. Now oh my it's just gosh, like, I know. It doesn't matter if you like Harry Potter or not, you are going to want to see this. What did you think of how they, how they changed the theme in the beginning of the trailer to make it seem almost like a, like a bad dream kind of sounding true, feel true. to uh, it? I'm getting chills. Mm. So crazy. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us, Rita. Thank you, John on Pottercast. No problem. Talk to you all later. Hello. Hi, this is Pottercast. Who's this? <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're talking about the Deathly Hollows trailer. What did you think? You know, I knew you were going to ask that, but I didn't watch it. Oh, and we knew you were going to say that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it. You're not watching it. Why? This is interesting. We have not spoken to anyone who has not seen it yet. Why? Really? Do you plan on not watching the trailer at all until you see the film? I wasn't until Bree just said that. That was such a good point. Ah. Oh. It's the last first trailer. Well, I think that there are quite a few other people out there who are trying to avoid um, any spoilers and sights of the film. Can you, can you just briefly uh, give a little bit of your rationale for that? Well, I mean, every time we see trailers, we break them down and we're like, oh, I can already tell that this is wrong and this is wrong, but this is going to be so great. And I don't want... I did it the same thing with the first Deathly Hallows. Like, I don't want any preconceived judgments. Yeah. Definitely. So you want to sit in that theater fresh, not having any spoilers. So um, I am jealous of you because I have seen the trailer and I've seen a few, a few other pictures, but I've stayed off a of Tumblr, so for the most part, I'm pretty unspoiled. So I've been careful on Tumblr. It's this is actually like the one conversation I had with Ivana in New York a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Because they played a piece of the Part 2 trailer at one of the Q&As. Yeah. And she's like, oh, what'd you think of the trailer? And I was like, I didn't watch it. And she was like... Why? <laughs> She's like, I mean, we know it happens. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's no no big spoilers, but there is actually a, one thing in this trailer that I won't spoil you on. <gasps> Better not. But um, everyone's talking about this one moment as being so bizarre. 
And when you okay. see the film, you'll know exactly what everyone's talking about. Don't. You're getting me interested. I don't want to be interested. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they dyed um, Mrs. Weasley's hair blonde, but uh, <laughs> I do not think it was necessary. You're never gonna change, John. I suppose not. Well, thank you for chatting with us about the Deathly Hallows trailer, even if you hadn't seen it. Thanks, we, John. We I'm a big fan of the show. We appreciate your perspective. See ya. Bye. Bye. All right, well, I think that's about all for right now of these little call-outs. I will have more podcasts soon with Melissa and Frankie and myself talking more about this trailer, the upcoming film in general, all the other news leading up to it, LeakyCon, and everything else exciting to all you guys, big old Harry Potter fans leading up to the, the end of all things. The end of Harry Potter. No, I know I'm not going to be that dramatic, but I've had fun chatting with you guys today. You can follow us more on uh, Twitter at Pottercast for more little last minute notices like the one we gave you tonight to talk to us. It was a blast and uh, stay tuned for more. Talk to you later. Bye bye. We missed it. Papa, you free. I confess myself disappointed. Now. If you don't mind, I'm going to bed. Great, Scott. No wonder. Look at the time. We've been here nearly four hours. Spooky how the time flies when one's having fun. <laughs>